Welcome to day 15 of Advent of Vim 2025. Today we're going to talk about auto commands. Auto commands let you react to events in Vim and run commands automatically when they happen. They fit in well in the theme of our last few videos that talk about configuring Vim. So let's take a closer look at them. But first a quick shout out to the YouTube channel members here, to the YouTube super chatters, super thankers, and also the GitHub sponsors. You're my personal heroes. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. First, let's take a quick look at the help file for auto commands here. Let's quickly look at the intro here. It says you can specify commands to be executed automatically when reading or writing a file, when entering or leaving a buffer or window, and when exiting Vim. Then it gives a little example of what you can do and that you usually put the auto commands in your VimRC file. And that's what we're going to do exactly as well. Let's take a look at the syntax to actually define one of these auto commands here. So the command is called auto command. You have an optional group here. You have the event you're listening to. Also an auto command pattern to narrow down for which files this auto command should actually work. Then some optional parameters here that we're not going to cover here. And the actual command you want to have automatically executed on an event. Now that we have a little bit of a basic concept of what an auto command is, let's just write our first auto command here. So for that, just we're going to use um, the auto command command here, and then we're going to use the buff read event. We're going to match all the file types, and then we just want to echo out some file read. Let's write this file here to the vimrc file here, and let's source this. And now to demonstrate this, let's just open some file. And on the bottom here, this some file read appeared. That's exactly the echo command we did. And now if we hit enter, we will see that we opened another file here. And this is the sum file. Let's switch back to our vimrc file here. And let's create another auto command here. Let's say all buff read again or buff read. And this time we just want to have this for text files. We're going to echo out again here and just say a text has been opened or something like that. Let's write the vimrc file again and let's source it again. And now let's open this uh, like text file here. Now you can see here some file read. We expected that, right? This should be read because a text file is also any file here. But some file read and some file read, that's two times. Okay, that's a little bit strange. Let's have a look at that a little bit later. But also a text has been opened, is stated down here. So our next auto command also works, it seems like. What do you know? In this file, there's a like, hype, and subscribe call to action here for you. Wow. So if you want to go ahead and do that, of course, but let's go back to the, uh, to the BMRC file here. We had this problem with the double sum file read here. Let's do another experiment and source this BMRC file again. And now let's just reread this BMRC file here with E exclamation mark. Uh, so this just read the BMRC file again from, from this and this triggered this buff read event. But you see now some file read is displayed three times. So it seems like every time we source our VMRC file, the exact same auto command gets created once more. So all of them now run. And that's probably not what we wanted, right? So to prevent that, we can use auto command groups or all groups. So to do that, we just specify all group and give the all group a name. So let's say that's our read all group. And then you go down here and close the all group with I can type <laughs> with all group end. And some people also like to indent the thing here inside. You don't have to do that, but I personally also find it more readable. And this basically creates an auto command group that contains all the auto commands within there. And what you can do now is the first thing in the auto command group should also be the all group or the auto command command with the exclamation mark. And this clears all the auto commands inside this all group. To actually make use of this, we have to write this file and restart Vim because previously we defined the buff read auto commands here without the all group, so they won't get deleted now. But let's just restart Vim here. Let's quit this and open the VimRC again. Of course, at the start of Vim, the VimRC gets sourced and we get this sum file read. Now resource the VimRC file again and reread it. And now there should only be some file read once, even though we sourced the vimrc file again. And that's all because we created this all group and cleared it before recreating these commands here. 
So far, we've used the file method patching here to define our auto commands. Now imagine you have some kind of shell script that doesn't have a file extension or even have something like a markdown file that can have different file extensions like MD or MDown or whatever. And you want to specify an auto command based on the file type. You can, of course, do this as well. And I'm just going to paste a snippet of code in here. I called this all group file types, but it's an arbitrary name. Clear the group here and then you have this auto command and then you use file type markdown because I want to target a markdown file file and set local so local to the buffer that's the file that's opened uh, i want to enable spell checking here and let's save this and let's source the file again so that this auto command actually gets created and now let's open some markdown file here we have the christmas.md file and of course our other auto command still works the sum file red auto command we defined here so we've got this echo here maybe we should disable this actually but let's see what happened here. Okay, now this Christmas vim.md file is a markdown file. And you can see here already that spell checking has been enabled because of the um, red background here on this carol that was spelled quite wrongly. And we can also see that local spell should be enabled. Yes. And so our file type based auto command also works. So this is how you can do it file type based. So you can do a lot of stuff with auto commands. I recommend to look into the help files or maybe look at some other people's auto commands that they created. You can do a lot of stuff. So I'm going to remind you again here to like the video and hype the video. And also I'm in a little competition with the Primogen. He wants to get to a million quite soon and I want to race him and get to a million subscribers before him so you really 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 have to subscribe of course it would be also great if you use one of the membership options that are available or you could use github sponsors or Kofi to support me through this way i'll be back here tomorrow see you around and take care